In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to use the filter function to explore your data. Example number one is choosing a name of a different variable in your data set. Example two is looking at the dates that are greater than or equal to a specific date. And example number three is pulling up all of the different variables that might be greater than or equal to a variable of your choice. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back in to orient you to this video. The first thing that I have to show you is just that we have this sheet here that has our basically our different examples on it. And then we are going to be pulling from a net master database. So this database just basically has um, our athlete name, date, and then the different tests as well as the values associated with that. So the first thing that I want to do is this example one is I want to be able to pull all of the data that matches an athlete's name. So one way that I can do this is I can just create a drop down list here that basically has all of the data for that athlete. And the way that I would do that is I'm just going to choose a cell and go to data and then data validation and it's going to ask me to choose a data range and what I'll do is go to my actual data page and I'm going to choose this column number A and I'm going to go from A2 all the way down the column to get all of the names in that data. When I hit save and go back to my sheet, I'm going to have this ability basically to pull up any name that I want. Now it's important to use validations when you're doing stuff like this because you want to make sure that the name is spelled the exact same way as it would be in your data set. Any typos or miss spaces or anything like that will make the functions not work properly. So for our example, let's pull out Athlete4's data. Now in order to do this, we want to pull out their name, the date, and we'll pull out the trap bar deadlift in this case. So the function that I'm going to use is the filter function. So what this looks like is equals filter. And because I'm going to be pulling out multiple columns that aren't necessarily beside each other, I'm going to have to open up squiggly brackets where it's asking me for my range. So in order to choose my ranges, what I'm going to do is go to my data and I'm just going to hold down the control key and I'll select basically the name, the date, and the trap bar deadlift and I'm going to close those off in squiggly brackets. Now for each of these, I want to start at the second row. So I have to choose my data to go from basically A2 all the way down, or B2 all the way down, or G2 all the way down. So that's the range that we want. Now the next thing that it's going to ask me for is the condition. So for my condition, what I want is when this column here, the name column, A2 to A, is equal to, and I go back to my video and select the name that we've selected. So let's walk through this formula quickly what we have is filter, open it up with a squiggly bracket, and we're going to put our first column, comma, because that's going to put them side by side, second column, comma, third column, squiggly brackets, and then another comma to start my conditions. And for my conditions, I want the name column when it is equal to the name that we've selected. When I hit enter, I'm now going to be able to pull out the data for any name, basically, that I select. So that's a quick and easy way to do that and this works really well if you're doing some charts or other graphing and you need to pull out a specific data set. So let's do the same thing now for dates. First let's create our data validation. So we'll go to data, data validation and for the range what I want to select is this date column and I want to select it at B2 and I'll hit OK and save. So now I can select any date that I want. And for our um, values, what I'll hit is equals filter, open this up, squiggly brackets, I'm going to hold down control, and we want the A column, the B column, and the counter movement jump column, and then squiggly brackets. Again, we want these to go from the second row. And when do I want to do this? Well, I want to do it when the date column, B2, is greater than or equal to the date that we have selected. And I'll close this off 
and you can see now it'll give me all of the values that are greater than or equal to a date that I've selected. Now one interesting thing to note about this is that if I delete this date, it's going to see it as a date of zero, so it will return everything. So if we wanted this to return nothing, if there was no date in here, we could just do a quick check to see if there was a date in this um, cell here. And what that looks like is in front of this filter column, we're just going to do a quick if check. So we'll say if this um, cell where we select our date from is equal to nothing, um, two quotations, then I want you to return nothing. Otherwise, we know that it's not empty, then we'll do this filter formula. And I'll hit OK. You can see that deletes it. But now when I pick a date, it automatically gives me those values. So let's do one more filter example here with our trap bar deadlift. In this case, we want our trap bar deadlift whenever it is equal, or sorry, whenever it is greater than um, a value that we select. So let's do that. We'll say equals filter. Again, squiggly brackets, holding down control. Um, we want the athlete name column, the date column, and the trap bar deadlift. Again, going from the second row, close the squiggly bracket, comma, and we want it when the trap bar deadlift from the second row is greater than the number that we type into here. And I'll close this off. Again, it's going to do the same thing that our date one did. But if I were to type in 300, these are all of the athletes that had a trap bar deadlift over 300, regardless of date. Let's put in that quick if check. So we'll say if this cell here um, equals nothing, then return nothing. Otherwise, do the filter evaluation. So maybe let's see if anybody was over 315 or maybe 340, sorry, 340. And you can see this is just an easy way to filter out any athletes um, basically by different conditions. So I hope this trick helps you out. If it does, please like and subscribe to the channel and share it with somebody else who you think it might help out. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.